Okay, last one on this sheet. Find the, predict the missing product. So write the chemical formula for the missing substance on the line. So what I have to do is figure out how many of each uh, element I have on each side and then what's missing. So for example, I have two NAs on this side and two NAs on this side. Okay, so the NA is not missing. I have two times two is four hydrogens. I have two times one, so I have two hydrogen. So far I know that this contains two hydrogens, right? For oxygens, I have two times one is two oxygens. And over here I have two times one um, is two oxygens. So this has just two H's. But I can't write it like this because if it had a subscript, it would have the subscript written. I mean, have it had a coefficient, it would have the coefficient written like this. See that one? Okay, that one already has the coefficient written. That means it doesn't have a coefficient. So how do I write it? Like this. Two H's. All right, let's look at this one. CA. One CA, one CA. One C, no C's. So I have one C. Th three O's, one O. So I have two O's missing. So how do I write this? C, O, two. Two ALs, two ALs. Oh yeah, everything else is missing. <laughs> okay, so what is it gonna be? Well, I have three CLs, so I need three CLs. And actually, no, that's wrong. See, I'm glad I did this because look, two times three, I have six. CLs, so I have six CLs missing. And I have three times two is six H's missing. So this is gonna be H, C, L, and a six. So my guess is this one comes from a multiple choice question because this should have the coefficient right here. Uh, so let's look at this one. I've got a, one C, no C's. So one C. Four H's, one H. So three H's. Two CL's, one CL. One CL. So when we write an organic compound, we write C's, then H's, then whatever's left. So that's it. All right, this one. One N, no N. Four H's, two H's. Actually, no. Four, I have five H's, because see, I have this H. So actually, I only have two, so I'm missing three H's. One CL, one CL. Those are fine. One NA, one NA. One O, one O. So this is N H three. Well, this has everything missing, so I need to have four Fe's and six O's. But you see this two in front of here? So I actually need half of that and half of this because they would get multiplied by two. So this is Fe, two, O, three. What do I have here? Zn, no Zn. So one Zn, two H's, two H's, two CLs, so Z, N, C, L, two. Two Ks, two Ks, good. Two I's, no I's, so two I's. One PB, no PB's. Two NO3's, two NO3's, or I could do them separately, two N's, two N's. Three times two, two, three times two, six O's, six O's. So this is gonna be P, B, I, two. So the important thing is figure out exactly what you have, which atoms are missing, and then you need to write the formula for it. And that is how you determine the missing substance. Paying attention to any coefficients. 
Sometimes you might have to determine the coefficient for yourself. Usually it's going to be written for you. And there you go.